Welcome back to Dr. Vlogs and a video on medical genetics. So today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a family tree or a pedigree chart slash diagram. Uh, so to start off, we're going to be drawing a square and the square represents any male. Um, so if we draw a, tr a little arrow which leads to the square, this means that this is the person who is the patient or is giving us the information about the diagram. And a circle represents a female. In this case, it's going to be his sister. So we draw small lines above them called individual lines and connect them via a sibship line. And that means that they are siblings. From the sibship line, if we draw another line, uh, this is called the line of descent. And that leads to the parents. So we're going to be drawing in here his father and his mother. And we connect the father and the mother by a line called the relationship line. And that's where the line of descent comes from. So now if we draw in this individual's brother and he is married to someone who uh, is a blood relation. So we call this con consanguinity and that's represented by a double line. So instead of a single relationship line, a double relationship line, if you like, and that represents consanguinity, as I said. And she was previously married to another guy uh, and to represent a divorce, you have a double strike through. Uh, so that means that they were previously divorced. Well, they are divorced. Uh, and she was previously married, sorry. The triangle here represents a miscarriage. So that means this uh, lady has had a miscarriage in the past. And if you don't know the gender, it doesn't matter. But if you do, you can write underneath. Uh, so in this case, it was a baby boy. Uh, a diamond represents unknown gender so you don't know the gender of the person it can be an adult it can be a child whoever but in this case uh, p represents that the lady is pregnant and they don't know the gender yet so if we go back to his sister and she's married to a guy and they have four children they've got one son uh, as we're drawing here and three daughters but because the three daughters are all the same they don't have any conditions or diseases that we know about and that means that we can just draw a three in there to represent three uh, girls. Uh, twins are unique because they share one individual line and then it branches off into two. For non-identical twins, it just branches off into two and you draw the, the squares or the circles underneath. But for identical twins, you have to actually connect the, the two lines that are branching off from the individual line. Uh, if we shave in now the father and the individual himself, this means that they have a condition or a disease. If you don't know what it is, or you do know what it is, you can just write it in underneath. His mother has a strike through because she's deceased. Uh, so you strike through anyone who is deceased, just a single strike. And that's all it is really. That's the main things that you need to know. There are some specific shapes and uh, symbols for specific diseases, but they're not commonly used. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. It's quite simple really. And there'll be more videos coming on genetics very soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, please share, subscribe and like and follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.